It's a trap. What's up, gang? It's Carlton Flowers here, your crypto pro. Yay! And we have an urgent market update that we need to discuss and look at some of the top projects because, honestly, I don't understand why people don't see the things that are being flashed on the charts right now while everybody is talking recovery. So let's jump straight into the chart and see what's going on. First of all, right off the bat, look at what is going on with the BTC chart. So I had drawn, let me get rid of this real quick, and sorry if this is not professionally prepared. I had to jump straight into this for the urgency of what's going on. But we see that I had drawn this parallel trading zone here. This is a downward trading channel. And I drew this just the other day once we got into this little dip where we created a lower high. So I thought this is a confirmation that we are in a downward trading channel. So once we had this great big green candle pump followed by two more pumps, I thought, well, maybe we're breaking out of this, but it just doesn't make sense. And so now we see one small red candle with one green and now a matching red, a trade-off right there. So what is going on right now? And is this a reversal? Well, let's look at the evidence. First of all, we have a crossover on the four-hour chart right there with the stochastic that is in the clear overbought zone, higher than what we have had in any of these previous peaks. Because before, let's just draw a line here. Here is about where we were at with these previous peaks, and we have gone above that. So now we see a crossover happening. Now this could reverse and it could stay up here, but that usually happens when we're at the peak of a very bullish run, not when we're in a downward trading channel. Now, what is the MACD telling us? Well, it looks like our oscillators are on a romp, on a tear coming up, but they're just approaching the zero line. Plus, we see something here that could be an indication that the MACD is peaked out. Look at that light green candle. You get a light green bar, rather, after the dark green bars when a reversal is coming. When this new bar is not at the height on the histogram as the previous, it turns light green. So that means that this could start to head back down. Now, it doesn't always happen that way, but it does more times than not. As we can see from previous circumstances, look at this green candle here, followed by the light green. But then it went back to dark green, but then it settled on down. So it reversed a few times, but overall, the trend was going down at this point. But look what the price is doing. It was going up. All right, so let's look at some of the red. We had red bars here, followed by a light red, then a dark red, and then light again as we approached the zero line. Now, looking at the previous big dip right here, we went down and then we switched from this dark red bar to light red and we approached the zero line. Same thing here, we went up, down, up, and then back down. So this oscillator, when it's perfect, it makes a nice smooth action kind of like this, up and down, like a seesaw, like a sine wave, but sometimes it'll bounce. It's not perfect, but right now we're seeing a momentum that could do this, and if it does, this right here, folks, is a trap. It's possible. Now, don't quote me because I could be completely wrong. And it is possible that some whale can come in and drive this price back up to this volume node or this volume node or even that volume node. But even if it did, this is still a lower high. We still have to take out the previous all-time high in order to be back in the clear where it would tell us that this downward trading channel is done. Right now, to me, it does not look like it is done. Now, let's just look at some of the others on the chart here on TradingView and see what we see. Here's XRP, okay? So 
wow this one's even more clear it looks like i had this parallel trading channel drawn with quite a bit of accuracy as the price action we can see that it started here where we had a rejection and then it bounced exactly at the bottom of my trading channel we worked our way back up and then it bounced again exactly at the bottom of this end of the channel and what do we have right here we have a possible rejection now when we bounce around like that and you see a rejection at the top of this channel right here at this volume node what does that tell you it tells you that the the momentum could be going down we could be headed for this volume node we could be headed all the way down to the point of control price we don't know yet but here's the one thing sticking out again oversold stochastic there it is right there and what do we have we have a crossover boom right there what's the macd doing is this at a peak i don't know but it could be we don't have a light green bar yet but it could be coming so this does not look bullish to me how does this indicate that we're in a reversal and we're headed up again we could be headed up it could bounce from right here and just blast on off to this volume node up here but i don't see the evidence just yet so here we are still above the 50 period ema and the 200 period ema but we could get snatched back down to this 50 and if we fail the 50 i think we're headed to the 200 as this average line what's going to happen is if we start floating downward this average the 200 period is going to start doing this and then magically isn't it like magic it's just like magic we'll be right back down here at the thick of this volume node at a buck so i actually sold my xrp here for a small profit and i'm going to wait before i buy it again because i'm jumping back into xrp do not take any of this as financial advice because this is for entertainment purposes only you better make your own decisions and i could be dead wrong if you listen to me and you mess up you could be in the soup line all right just getting that out of the way let's move on and see what else is going on how about we take a look at ethereum ethereum usually leads the way with what's going on and what do we have here well surprise surprise here's our high and what are we doing now we're posting a lower high we have three red candles printed on the four hour chart with what a stochastic crossover there it is right there plain as day so here's our crossover we are in the oversold zone but look at the macd it's already given us a hint that it's peaked out already look at the fast line the percent k line is starting to curl down and we have light green bars people light green bars so that means that there is a possibility barring whales coming in that we start in a downward stochastic cycle so looking at the previous peaks this is what i always compare what did this peak return a high what did this peak return a higher high what did this peak return a lower high now it's not as low as what we saw with bitcoin but that's a lower high so that is to be taken into consideration chain link whoa this is even more obvious to me it's the same thing how are we repeating these same patterns across the board why do they look identical it's called bot trading institutional bot trading now when everyone starts saying we're in the clear the market's gonna zoom again it's only up from here it's time to stuff your bags and get ready for the trip up when everyone is overly bullish what do the market manipulators do they trick us and they provide us with a nice opportunity to give back your money with these little traps okay looking at the chain link chart we see an overall very nice clear downward trend all right there's the downward trend and let's look and see what these stochastic peaks do here's the first peak that was our all-time high the next peak lower high the next peak lower high the next peak lower high boom with the stochastic crossover and a bearish macd so when you see this you got to start thinking to yourself high lower high lower high lower high lower high mm, somewhat of a lower high right there 
So that tells me that this is a downward trend. Let's jump down here to BNB. BNB is looking somewhat weak. This is not clear. We have an overall downward trend. Let's look at the stochastic peaks again. So the first one, we returned this all-time high right there. What do we get on the next peak? Lower high. There it is again, people. Lower high. Now, what are we about to return on this peak? Yet another lower high. In fact, we already did. So we're sailing down, about to settle in on this 50 period EMA. So when you're posting this, and then you see this, a stochastic crossover that even tried to head fake and come back, and then it stayed divergent where the blue line is under the red line. This is bearish. Let's just write that up there. Now, looking at the MACD, this is bearish. Why? Because we are posting light green bars. So this also is bearish. You have two indicators saying the same thing. And look at the oscillator. The blue line is starting to curl down. We have two light green bars. So this could be coming down. Now, all, all this is going on while everybody's still shooting off their mouth talking about the market's back. The market's back. The market's back. I don't get it. So call me dead wrong, and I might be, and I'm tell you what, I'm fine with admitting when I'm wrong, but where's the evidence to show me that I'm wrong here? I don't know. Now, let's look at VThor and VChain. Let's see here, starting with VThor, this is obvious. I might sell this because I bought it here at the um, flag at two cents and what are we on a clear downward trending tra trading zone i've got my strike box here where i will buy again if it dips below the 0.014 level but it, it's the same thing guys here here's the high lower high lower high lower high higher high but not taking out the previous lower high so this is still a downward trend light green on the histogram crossover coming there it is Let's move on. Jump on up to uh, where is V chain? There is V chain. This doesn't look good. This does not look good. Here it is again. Overall, we're still in a downward trend. What are we posting here? Stochastic peak. We had this nice pump. This one, lower high. This one, well, sort of lower high there. This one, lower high. This one, we're about to post another lower high. What is the MACD? MACD looking like? We have this light green bar. So that means that we could get another dip on the stochastic or on the MACD cycle. And this, I'll tell you what, this doesn't mean it always has to come back up here and cycle like that. A lot of times it can do this and just stay down here in the dungeon. It is possible. So I'm not ready to get my bag of V-Chain back. Let's look at the one that I bought prematurely that I'm kicking myself for, which is X-Cur. This is not good. I bought it $10. I broke my fundamental rule and I bought uh, from the feeling of FOMO. I FOMO'd in and we are in a solid downward trend. Here is a crossover right there or I'm sorry, right here on the stochastic. The MACD still looks bullish, but we could be printing a light green bar right here at any moment because this crossover is happening and we look like we're going lower now there is not much volume down here below the point of control price at 684 so i can't be sure that's why i haven't sold this yet but right now i might sell it a loss and wait and see if it comes down to five bucks and pick it up again let's go back to the bitcoin here is the bitcoin and let's look at those peaks again where the stochastics are returning these uh, lower highs. So here's the first one right there. Here's the second peak and it was weak. Here's the next peak. It was weak. And then here's the last one and we're still crossed over. Here we are. We're still crossed over and now we have this light green bar right there. So where are we headed? Well, we're below the 50 period EMA and we're below the 200 period EMA, but what other big glaring piece of evidence do we have on this chart that I don't hear anybody talking about? We have a death cross right there. The 50 period EMA has been crossed over by the 200, or I'm sorry, the 50 did, yeah, what I just said. Well, anyway, that's a bearish confirmation. 
And then when you get that along with something like this and something like this, it's a cell signal. Now, whenever you see the uh, MACD oscillators, whenever this happens, let me draw it on here for you. Let's say this blue line does this. And then let's say the red comes up and it does this. That's a cell signal. A lot of people call this a cell signal when those two cross over. But by the time you go for that cell signal, you're going to be down here because it's going to take some more downward pressure to complete that the stochastic comes first i look at this and then i watch that macd and see what it does so that's what i see happening right now and we'll just have to wait it out check it out but i'd sure love to hear your thoughts on this action let's check one more and then i'm done then i'll shut up we're looking at the bnb here um overall downward trend we're sitting at 530 bucks i bought this at 548 because i was going to do some pancake slop trades which i never did but this is an overall downtrend here's a peak to the all-time high here's the next stochastic peak we have a definite crossover did i go over this one already i may be so overly excited i'm repeating myself well whatever the case that's all i want to know what you think about this because looks pretty clear to me and i officially don't understand why everybody is going on about this being an absolute recovery so post your comments below and let's talk and if you want to see one of your favorite projects on a mobile report let me know and i'll be glad to talk about it this is carlton flowers your crypto pro and we out